If you're watching this video, there's a very good chance that you're working with a brand, a client, or a fantastic partnership where you have been asked for an ad authorization code or the ad code for your TikTok videos. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it today. And after I share exactly how to do it step-by-step, step, I'm gonna share with you a few things that are really helpful to know about partnerships, sponsorships, and working with clients who pay you for your content, especially on TikTok. So the first thing you're gonna do is pull up your TikTok profile. You're gonna to go to the three little lines in the upper right-hand corner and you're gonna click on Creator Tools. From there, you're gonna go ahead and scroll on down and you're gonna select Ad Settings. So at the very bottom, you see how there's that thing that says Setting, Ad Settings. Make sure it is turned on because this is gonna give you account access to being able to generate those codes. Then you're gonna select the video that you want to authorize for ads. Now keep this in mind, and I'll talk more about this in just a moment, but if there is copyrighted music in your video, it may be difficult or even impossible to run an ad to it. Don't try to skirt that rule. So if this doesn't work, there's a very good chance that, that particular video is not being approved for running ads, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick the video that you wanna run ads to. I just pumped out a ton of videos this week, so I'm gonna scroll on down to one that has done better for me. I'm gonna scroll on down and let's pull it up. Beautiful. So I'm selecting this particular video as a TikTok that could have an ad. Now keep in mind there is copyrighted music in this, so this one I wouldn't actually run as a true, tried and true ad, as a sponsored piece, unless I had purchased the rights to run it as an ad. So I'm gonna go ahead and select those three little dots underneath, uh, on, the, on the right hand side, the three little dots. So as if you were gonna pin the video, save the video, duet the video, or copy the link. I'm gonna scroll all the way on over to add settings right before delete. Just be careful here that you don't accidentally hit delete, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the add settings. Uh, you can decide whether or not you wanna show this only as an ad, so it never shows up on the For You page. I probably don't recommend that unless you're in a special, special contract for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and select add authorization and turn it on once I have uh, agreed to the advertising content terms of service. I'm going to turn on that. You're going to see the video status change. It says the video status will change from private of or friends to available for ads so that the authorized ad teams can view your video. Super important note. Do not use this if you don't want your video to be public unless it only shows up as an ad, but keep in mind, it's still going to show up to people. So you can't prevent your friends or family from seeing it or the high school bullies. All right. So I'm going to hit OK. And then from there, I'm going to click or uh, click generate code. I get to determine the length of time that that is uh, generated for. So you can authorize it for seven days, 30 days, 60 days or 365. I'm really glad they added the 365 option. So I'm going to do seven days and I'm going to click authorize. Now I'm going to blur out my, spe my specific code for this because I don't want you guys to see it. Actually, you're not able to see it here, which is kind of nice. You can delete the code, you can copy the code, or you can extend the authorization period. So if the period runs out for the authorization to use it as an ad and your client or sponsorship wants to extend it, this is where you would extend that length of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy code and then it is gonna be good to rock and roll for the next seven days. Give that code to whoever it is that wants to run ads and you are all set to go. But here are a few more things that you need to know about running ads, especially if you're being sponsored, if you have been looking for sponsorships. So number one, you don't want to use copyright and copyrighted music in videos that are going to ultimately be ads. We've actually come up against this many times, this being a recurring issue. Even with some of the audio that TikTok has said is approved for ads, we've actually had issues with it. So I personally use a tool that's I think like 200 bucks for the year called Artlist. You can go to artlist.io and pay for the annual subscription so you can get unlimited access to copyright free, royalty free music that you can use potentially depending on the song's terms 
in your TikToks with no issues for ads. The second thing I wanna share with you is that if something is going to be an advertisement, it's according to the FTC's regulations, you actually have to disclose that it is an ad even if you're not being paid for that particular piece of content. So even if they just gifted you something or gave you free access to their tool, you have to disclose that by using hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored, something that is very obvious to people so that they're not felt feeling like they're misled and they can't report you to the FTC, but you legally have to disclose that there is some type of sponsorship or partnership going on. The next thing I wanna share with you that can be really helpful to know is that uh, the ad cost CPMs that we're seeing from TikTok are ranging from about four to five dollars CPM, which is four to five dollars to reach a thousand people. Uh, M stands for mil, and contrary to what a lot of people think, that actually stands for about a thousand people, according to I'm pretty sure it's the Latin root of that word. So a thousand people reached is going to cost you four to five dollars and that's really helpful to keep in mind especially while facebook is claiming that they have 15 to 25 dollar cpms i'm seeing the cpms there ranging 20 to 40 and even 80 dollars for super targeted audiences the next big thing i want to share with you and this is huge and super helpful is that it is very 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 imperative that you know between you and your client the sponsor who it is that's going to be responsible for managing the comments on a sponsored post because my goodness it can get really 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 wild. I have discovered that it seems the majority of bots and troll accounts and spam accounts uh, are generally speaking going to be a younger age, so under 25. And most of them are male, which is really, really interesting. So simply by filtering out my targeting to target more females or non-binary, uh, those of uh, non-binary status, and people who are over the age of 25 or 25 plus, even sometimes a little higher up, you're gonna discover that it really truly brings a, an audience that is a little kinder on your ads. So this is super important to keep in mind, but discuss with your client, discuss with your sponsors, who it is that's gonna manage uh, the comments on there. I have one video that reached something crazy like 33 million people with a, a partnership through Vista Print and the comments were brutal. So they had their entire team just managing the comments the whole time and they needed almost full-time moderation because it was wild in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I share tutorials, trainings, strategies, tips, hacks, workflows for all things social media marketing and business. I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Oh, one last thing. By the way, there's some free resources in my bio. So if you didn't click away yet, you can grab those free resources, including my free TikTok starter pack uh, and a few other tools for TikTok. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.